Hi everyone. Today's message, Zechariah chapter 11, verses 1 to 3, is thought to be related to the previously mentioned Zechariah chapter 10, verses 6 to 12. Um, at first, uh, the original Bible uh, didn't have chapters and verses. However, uh, in the Western Middle Ages around uh, 1227, uh, Stephen Langton, uh, Archbishop of Canterbury, separated chapters and verses as we do today. Uh, the Bible is divided so that we, we can easily read it. And I think it's a really great and precious work. Um, however, uh, sometimes chapters are accurately divided. Uh, I'm of the opinion that uh, Zechariah, uh, today's text, 11, uh, 1 to 3, uh, would be better included in chapter 10. Uh, this is my opinion. Uh, Zechariah chapter 10, verses 6 to 12, uh, especially verse 10. God promises uh, the northern kingdom of Israel will be restored and prospered again and their number will increase, and their settlement will be extended to uh, Gilad and Lebanon. Uh, as we already mentioned, uh, Gilad is on the eastern side of the Jordan, and uh, Lebanon is on the northern border of Israel. Uh, Zechariah chapter 11, verses 1 to 3 is saying that God will conquer these areas and help them to prepare the future Israel. Uh, the Myers, uh, the Myers couple, uh, Myers believed that God would first purify Lebanon in order to restore the northern kingdom of Israel. Um, Peterson uh, also sees uh, Zechariah uh, uh, 11 verses 1 to 3 uh, as an independent sentence related to the sub subsequent uh, passages, uh, chapter 11, uh, verses 4 to 17. Uh, um, today's text, uh, 11 verses 1 to 3, is a very uh, poetic sentence, uh, uh, independent sentence uh, from the ne next, pas next, next passage. Uh, Zechariah, uh, Chapter 11, verse 1, uh, see the text. Um, Open your door, Lebanon. Uh, directly translated as it uh, begins with an imperative. Also, uh, 11, 2 begins with weep. Uh, uh, also, imperative style. A poetic call uh, to lament is called Poetical to lament. Uh, poetical to lament occurs several times in Old Testament. Uh, what is strange, uh, though, uh, is the most of these poetic expressions of the the order of uh, uh, lamentation refer to foreign names, uh, and the subject of the order of lamentation often. Personify, personifies, uh, personifies a tree, a door, or a ship, and gives the order to them. Uh, the, the order of lamentation uh, to tree, to door, to ship. Today's text also commands to weep, to weep at the cypress, at the oak trees. 
Uh, why do cypress and why do oak, uh, oak tree weep? Because their country, their people will perish. Uh, it's to announce the great destruction through the weeping of a tree representing the country and the people. Uh, in poetic expressions, uh, poet uh, express sadness by personifying things rather than people. Uh, let's take a look at the text with this uh, previous, previous understanding. Uh, first, uh, the title appears in the text. Lebanon uh, is a cold place in northern Palestine. Bashan is just southeast of Lebanon. The trees that live in these areas are, are often uh, forests of uh, handsome tall trees, such as cedar such as pine tree, such as cypress tree, and oak tree. On the other hand, uh, Palestine, where Israel lives, has many barren areas. Uh, so there are many small trees, such as uh, brush and thorn trees, bush. We remember well that when uh, Solomon built uh, the Jerusalem temple, um, there was no good timber uh, suitable for construction in Jerusalem. So uh, Hiram, uh, king of Tyre, uh, Hiram, uh, king of Tyre made rafts of cedar and cedar and cypress from Lebanon and transported uh, the rafts uh, by sea to build Jerusalem temple. Uh, in 1 Kings chapter 5. Uh, then you can see that the uh, Palestinian bush and the uh, Lebanon cedar are clearly in contrast. Bush and cedar. The only place that uh, weeds will be used is for only firewoods. But cedars, uh, cedars which are the pillars of a beautiful building. Cedars are very extraordinary beings, and their external appearances are in stark contrast to the bushes of Israel. Uh, if you look at a cedar, the cedar tree uh, from the point of view of a, a bush, a shrub, uh, you will be envious every time you see it. Uh, do we feel envious when you see other people uh, who are in better condition than ourselves? Sometimes a cedar-like creature uh, may look at the brush uh, and uh, despise it or think it pitiful. How can you compare and despise the barren terrain of the wilderness, brimming with thorns, when the lush forest of Bashan see it? Lush forest, beautiful cedar, oak tree, cypress tree. Uh, today's world itself is a place uh, where external things are judged and valued. Appearance, backgrounds, academic uh, background, and material possessions, the same. In this situation, the beings that symbolize the, the haves. Uh, have, the haves are the cedars and cypress trees of Lebanon and the oak trees of Bashan. First, uh, Zechariah 11.1, 1, look at the text. Um, God commands Lebanon to open the door. Open it. Because the fire of God goes into Lebanon. Fire is the most terrifying thing to trees. Uh, you may know the famous, uh, the historical, the greatest battle uh, in Asia uh, was uh, one of the uh, uh, one of them, Chokbyok Dejun. Chokbyok Dejun in Chinese, Chi Bi Dazan. Uh, means the great battle. Chokbyok is a, a place name. Chokbyok is uh, in the uh, great river, uh, Yangtze River. 
Um, it's a story of Jegal Kongmyeong. Jegal uh, Kongmyeong. Uh, in Chinese, Zugo Kongming. Jegal uh, Kongmyeong was the greatest military strategist in Asian history. Uh, he had a tremendous victory using fire and fire and wind in, in that war battle, uh, where numerous ships are gathered. Uh, he used fire. Uh, it's called Hua Gong. Uh, Hua Gong. Hua Gong means attack with fire. Fire is most uh, fearful being to trees, to woods. Uh, the moment God's fire enters Lebanon, the sea that Lebanon is proud of is transformed into a disaster. The whole of Lebanon will be engulfed in fire, as the cedars will catch fire in no time. The cedar tree, which has been um, burned by God's fire, is instantly transformed into the most miserable existence. Lebanon, who liked and boasted about cedar, will become a sea of fire because of the cedar at the moment God's fire comes. Uh, please do not confuse, there is no relation to modern, modern Lebanon. No relation. Uh, the word opened the door uh, in Zechariah chapter 11, verse 1, open the door, is a voice that was joyfully shouted, joyfully shouted in the Psalms to express the coming of God. Uh, let's read. Uh, Lift up your heads, O you gates. Be lifted up, you ancient doors. The King of glory may come in. Lift up your heads, O you gates. Lift them up you ancient doors, king of glory may come in. Uh, Psalm 24. When that day come, when the day of God comes, God will come to Lebanon to expand the boundaries of Israel. The appearance of God's procession will be the appearance of fire. When that day comes, all of Lebanon, which they boasted of being prosperous, will be burned down along with the cedar. That's why weeping is commanded in Zechariah 11, 2. Seeing pine tree, seeing oak tree. The reason cypress and oak, oak uh, weep is because the cedar, which is more, more beautiful than themselves, is burned down. Um, cedar is most beautiful, and the next uh, cypress, and the next oak tree, and, and uh, in the below, bushy, brushy. <laughs> this is because the large forest that they were proud of and their home were burned down together. The wailing of the cypress and the wailing of the oak tree personifies and poetically expressed the wailing of the whole country. Zechariah 11.3, this weeping continues even to the shepherd. Uh, the shepherd, shepherd here is not uh, the false shepherd, shepherd or powerless shepherd of uh, Israel, emphasized in the book of Zechariah. Um, just the leaders of Lebanon and Bashan, uh, how would the president feel uh, if an earthquake or catas catastrophic uh, disaster in a country killed thousands of people. The shepherd of Lebanon weeps for their glory. Uh, the pride of Jordan has fallen. Uh, and uh, look, 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 uh, see the uh, text. The young lion uh, sees the devastated land and roars feeling there's nothing. Lion is a lion. Only when there's a grassland and there are many animals, and even the king of beasts, lion, cannot receive royal treatment in a desolate place.
place. Uh, this destruction of Lebanon uh, is the work of God's power and purification for the restoration and expansion of the northern kingdom of Israel. Fire has the meaning of uh, fire. Uh, in, in, in the Bible, fire has two, two meanings. First, burn, burning. Uh, but it also has the meaning of purify. First, burning. Second, purify. You can think of the work of purification for God's new work coming to Lebanon. I think there are three important things in today's text. Um, first of all, uh, it is the appearance of God's universal uh, reign. God's universal reign. God is not the ruler of a narrow area. He's the ruler of the whole world, the whole universe. Such a God will judge Lebanon, which was armed with pride, in order to restore the northern kingdom of Israel. He is the God who moves the world to save Israel. Uh, I think we also need this kind of big prayer sometimes. God will lead the history of the world for me. God will move the universe for us. We also need this uh, attitude of prayer and faith uh, within the scope uh, that's not excessive, excessive uh, as long as it's not excessive. Uh, because uh, this happened many times uh, through the history of Israel long, long time ago, and those things uh, are in, in the Bible. Second, the level, uh, the people is meaningless. Uh, the, uh, uh, the level, the people is, uh, the, the level, the people think is meaningless from God's realm. Uh, people uh, think uh, uh, Sida and Bush are a very big difference uh, uh, between just like the heaven and earth. When it comes to trees, uh, people think uh, Sida tree, first level, first class, and cypress tree, and next, uh, at least oak tree. Uh, but we must know that the Sida can be burned up in an instant by the fire of God. The Sida we usually boast about in God procession are meaningless. When you see people who are always having a hard time due to uh, external conditions, we should understand God's will by sharing these words and reflect on what's truly important. God created this world with words. Therefore, all things in the world are precious things uh, contain the word of God. Even if you are uh, like a shrub and thorn or in the wilderness of Palestine, God's blueprint for the future is in you, is in me. This being has God's blueprint in its mind and the meaning and purpose of its existence. God's purification of Lebanon can be thought of as declaring the most blessed and meaningful existence is the one who is captured in the power of God. Finally, the glory of Lebanon and Bashan, uh, the pride of Jordan, uh, the lush uh, thicket of Jordan has fallen. In other words, because of that pride, destruction is coming. It was the cedar tree Lebanon was proud of, but rather the fire of the cedar tree caught on first, and the whole of Lebanon was engulfed in flames. The disaster usually starts with the thing you are most proud of. Disaster is to come with what you are most proud of. Disaster comes with 
what you are most proud of. There's something you usually brag about. It's likely that the ordeal begins right there. In the Bible, uh, something that goes beyond modesty is uh, called pride. If there's something that we are proud of, we should always try to refine it and we should be humble. Otherwise, at some point, a disaster may happen through the very pride. Whether you brag about your wealth, brag about your knowledge, brag about your children, brag about your uh, appearance, or brag about uh, your background, at any given moment, that brag can lead to a startling disaster. This is a message of Bible. Uh, in 2 Samuel chapter 18, a uh, very uh, famous story, uh, David's son Absalom revolted against his father. It was Absalom who was usually popular with the people. The rebellion begins from uh, within, the, within uh, the country, made David even more uh, uh, bewildered, sad. But he slowly puts down the rebellion. Absalom was usually proud of uh, his long hair, which was the symbol of his popularity. But at the end of the rebellion, Absalom's long hair, which he was proud of, got caught in a tree and hung from the tree where he was killed by David's servant. A glorious thing, pride of Jordan, the lush thicket of Jordan, it doesn't matter what exactly it has. We must always keep in mind uh, they can be very dangerous to us because it is through this that God's judgment can begin. And I may see that my pride be reduced to my shame. Yeah, let me tell you the prayer topics to share today. Uh, one, even if I'm not the cedar of Lebanon or the ark of Bashan, have I ever thanked the Lord for being with me? Today, I, I want to thank the Lord for being in me. Number two, when God's time comes, I'm sure that God will honor me, who depend on Him. Even though we are having a hard time today, Please help us to continue on the, on the path you have commanded us. Number three, if I have something to brag about, I want to refine uh, this through prayer and more effort. I don't want to uh, become arrogant and always give thanks to God. Today's story ends here. Uh, thank you. Shalom.